Welcome back to the Military Defense YouTube channel. <laughs> New Apache E model put through its paces by the US military. When I was a young I used to have a little model airfix model of an Apache and stuff for growing up and a couple of posters and things like that so it's great to be able to work with this sort of airframe. But when you're actually up in the air you know you can just enjoy it through what it's a great aircraft to fly for me. The front seat, where you can fight the aircraft, or from the back, it's quite dynamic and responsive aircraft. This is the world's most advanced attack helicopter, the Apache AH-64E. From the tag, Colonel Fiddler, like everybody before us, has put in a ton of sweat equity into making the day possible. That's a battle-winning tool, so we can see further and shoot further. There's a huge capability for the Brush Army. It's been flying now for about three or four years with the US Army and now with us. A brilliant aircraft with many improvements in terms of weapons capabilities, size, sensors. But we cannot let it rest. We have to continue to perform at the level that we're used to performing at if we expect to keep this asset in the state and continue to move forward into the future. I want to thank these two guys. Hopefully, this secures the future of the South Carolina National Guard and the attack aviation community for many, many years to come. And the digital communications on the aircraft. It's the newest wear pin at the Army Air Course's disposal. The Apache attack helicopters proving themselves to be a vital battlefield asset most notably in the war in Afghanistan. For the last three or four days of flying across country through weather, all kind of stuff, right? <laughs> what a great day for the South Carolina National Guard, Army National Guard, and for Army Aviation. As uh, uh, Colonel Fiddler noted, this is a huge step in terms of uh, securing the future of attack aviation here in South Carolina. Now this new Apache E-model has just come into service, and it's a massive upgrade on the previous one. 34 years ago, the first Alpha model coming in, so obviously a huge investment in terms of talent that has been made in this state, and I just want to thank all of you who have helped make this day possible. Um, looking back over time, as uh, Jay and I were talking a little bit ago. This new model can fly longer and faster than its predecessor and is much better at both sea level and at high altitude. It can also carry more weaponry and has improved digital communications, making it a game changer during combat. There were some moments I was concerned that this was going to happen. You look at COVID, you look at politics, you look at a whole host of things. So previously, as a section commander in a rifle company in Afghanistan, I saw the Apache flying overhead. They were almost like the guardian angel up at 2,000 feet that could have found a way to get into the process, a process that should always be determined by who is the best qualified, best capable of. The Army Air Corps 660 Squadron has come to Scotland from Watashimir Station in Suffolk. On exercise Vojek Highlander, the pilots testing themselves, flying over the more rugged Scottish landscape on this new and more sophisticated aircraft. So it's brilliant flying up here, actually it's a little bit of a change from Suffolk which is as flat as a billiard table but up here. It's amazing you get to see Ben Nevis, you get to see all the valleys and we've had brilliant weather uh, that June uh, grant us with this year. And I uh, see it demonstrated all the time and just really appreciate what you do and what you make happen. Good read back, requesting one low out. Five airframes have been flown to Scotland CRS. with about 120 people living Number and working on the airfield yeah. keeping these helicopters. Uh, in the sky out. without the vital work of those on the ground the pilots and the Apaches wouldn't be. out and I am now ready, time of flight. Roger, time of flight. Able to do their job we cover sort of any aspect of the ground cooperations. 
So it goes from anything from de-blanking the cabs to getting their covers off, getting them started up, launching them, marshalling them out, and then getting them off to their destination. We're massively involved in the arming, loading up of the munitions, and they're obviously the refueling. So without us the Apache it can get up in the air with a nice camera on it but without munitions. And fuel on board it can't really strike or do anything the Apache helicopter is an iconic combat aircraft. Batman, real nice. Keep walls at the back. Roger that, safe in the aircraft. A weapon that strikes fear into those who face it on the battlefield, and a vital aerial asset to the British Army since 2005. Roger, understand 1, 2, S-19 in the open. Spectre acknowledges 1, 2, S-19 destroyed.